Filming right now, I'll be done in a couple of hours. Let's connect finally at some point later, for pity's sake. Doug, your boyfriend? Your mom. <laughs>Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rex scene. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more yeah. juicy content. Yeah. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us for your Twitter account. Yes. Ring the bells with our notifications. Go on, bang! Follow us on Percy YouTube channel. It's in the description below. Uh, exclusive content over there. All uncut episodes of Family Man. Sacred Games. Me as a purge. Every TV Puck show we knock. ever watched. Uh, except for season one, because we weren't doing it at the time. Hence, That's I don't, true. I just don't have those. Is Game of Thrones over there, even? No, I, yeah, I, I, I we never weren't even doing a, it for that. I, I never did a uh, uncut reaction. Yeah, <laughs> those files were I miss so those days. large. <laughs> that was so fun. Yeah, yeah. It's the files are so large; they take so long to actually upload and then save. Right, because each episode is over. I an know hour. it takes. How long does it? It takes. So you got an hour. Oh, I know you've got ripping Wi-Fi. Well, yeah, you got an hour-long screen recording of the episode. Right, and then you got an hour-long reaction right. on top of that. So that makes the file even longer. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's a big thing. Today we're doing a movie review. Mm. I guess kind of a movie. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, it's Leland. In, turned into a little boy. He really has. Uh, and so it's a Bengali film. Yep. Uh, starring our dust, uh, Swastika Mukherjee, right? Yeah, Mukherjee. That's how you pronounce Swastika that. Mukherjee. There's two pronunciations for it. Sometimes people pronounce Mukherjee, but mm -hmm. the predominant, and I believe hers as well as like Andrani's, is Mukherjee. Mukherjee. Yeah. Never, no relation? Well, yes, like seagulls. There's there's millions of seagulls, and we are all linked at some dimension. So yes, because they're all Bengali. Uh, we're watching a the Bengali 2020 Bengali film, uh, Tashar Gawar. Tashar Gawar, yeah, the, Tashar Gawar. And man, uh, I could hardly get through. I mean, this was like Lagan. It was so long. It was. Ex it's an extremely just, long film. I watched it in six days. You just have to be able to sit through a really long. film. Film. Yeah. It's gonna take. It's, it's gonna, gonna about a week. Give yeah. us, get, it's like a, it's like a series. So give it a week. Watch at least it's, five minutes a day. It's forty seven. It's forty seven minutes long. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> directed by say his name. Uh, which technically, by the way, uh, Sudipta Roy, that qualifies for like the Globes and the Oscars as a film. As an actual film. Actually, no. I believe the Oscars is fifty five minutes. So this would be considered short film, which is ridiculous. Globes, I think it has to just get past like 20 or something. Mm -hmm. Anyway. But uh, the synopsis is a uh, housewife of an upper middle class family stuck mm -hmm. between the worlds that is around her and within her. This is the story of her world, her home, her search, her for herself. Yeah. We, uh, we, <laughs> so just like she's at camp. Will she be able to find what she is looking for? Will she? I don't know. I don't know. Do we want to do non spoilers or do we just want to... Okay, it's 47 yeah, minutes. We're going to do a non spoiler because the majority of you probably have not seen it. Yeah, I know. And I don't want to ruin it for you. It was a little indie film. Uh, I think it's on Hoi Choi now. I know that. Yes, it is on Hoi Choi. It's on Hoi Choi. Uh, did you watch it with Johnny? No. no. Okay. When I, at the time when I watched it, she was asleep. Just go ahead and watch it. She asked me what I thought of it. Okay. Um, and what did you think of it, Rick? I, at first, I thought. Okay, what's going on? Uh -huh. And I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like this the yeah. first five, six minutes. Uh -huh. And then when I realized where we were going, mm -hmm. I really liked it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, it is, it's really, really good. Yeah. It's, it's very, very well done. Very well done. Uh, in terms of the acting, filmmaking, everything. It's basically... Uh, I don't want to give a lot away. It's basically, there's somebody, it's, it actually takes place in the pandemic. Well, let's hear, we, we're going to give you two, because obviously this video is going to sit on the channel for the life of the channel. So there will be a point when most of you hopefully will have seen this and want to come back and hear what we have to say about some of the spoiler stuff. So let's just tell you right now, watch it. It's 47 minutes. It's 47 minutes. It's and budget. then come on back because we want to talk about the things we want to talk about that give stuff away. Yeah, it's... And don't, it's this worth film will be ruined. Like most films, will be ruined for you if you hear stuff about it before seeing it. It's worth your time. It is worth uh, absolutely worth. Your so time. Uh, go, go watch it. Um, it's on. Like I said, it's on Hoi Choi. I, I think 
if obviously if you're Bengal, you might have already seen it, uh, or you might have Hoi Choi. Yeah, and it just you may already have it. Yeah. So, uh, but if you're not, I would still encourage you to go watch it. It's basically a one woman show. It is. It's, it's a one woman show. Uh, so uh, go watch that, please. We're gonna get into spoilers now. That non spoiler review is go watch it, Rick. Um, so obviously going into this, expecting it to be good because it's Swastika. Yeah. Rooting for her. We're always going to be honest, which is interesting. Did you know that the same number of the letters for stupid is the same number of letters for honest? Whoa. Yeah. That's a coincidence. It is a coincidence. Uh, so I, I went in with high expectations, but obviously I actually went in with a little foreboding because when we've interviewed people and gotten to know them now, it's like going to see the, a play of a friend. You're not going to lie if it sucked. <laughs> That's true. And you don't want it to suck because yeah. number one, you want the artistry to be great no matter who's doing it. Mm -hmm. But when it's somebody you know and care about, yeah. it's the last thing you want to do. So thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, uh, this is what it is, not just because of the concept, but because of her. Yeah, um, She just does with it something that's really difficult to do. Primarily, when something's written to break the fourth wall, mm -hmm. it requires a very good actor to draw you in. And there were times where I... I felt like she was looking deep into my eyes. Mm -hmm. I really felt personally, con that's what through, at first I was like, oh, okay, I hope this becomes more personal than it feels right now. Cause if it just floats above the top here, I'm not gonna like this. Yeah. And it, it, yeah, it I, dropped in and got really wonderfully weird. I thought she did a very, very good job. Yeah. Uh, with one, making you care for her. Yes. And then also giving a sense of she, a relatable sense. One, at the beginning, she was basically my wife, uh, who is a introvert and loves plants. Mm -hmm. You can't see them right now. My wife yeah, has they're all a, over. She's about a hundred plants in our house alone, not including, including our, the outdoors. Our outdoor plants. She loves plants. And so she was like, I just love my plants. I want to stay away from everyone. And, and I was like, oh, look, it's, it's my wife's story. And, and also, in a similar sense, somebody who, she, her spirit came across as somebody who's just really just a genuinely content and happy person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And so I thought she did a very good job. And then also bringing in the creepy factor and, and the fact that uh, obviously the, the awful stuff has happened to her. Yes. And we can talk about the filmmaking of that, which I thought was really great, really? what they did with the husband. Um, the fact that you can relate to her. And then also... She, Whenever she looks, like it's right here on the poster. Yeah, great poster. It's a very like, I know what I did. I know it's probably wrong. I don't. I don't care. <laughs> right. There's almost. There's almost a, an evil mischief mm -hmm. going on behind her eyes. She had a lot of stuff going on. She she vacillates between three different. At one point, I was thinking to myself, "There's no freaking husband." Yeah, that was, I was thinking that for a while. If there is, he's dead yeah. in there. And she is out of her mind mm -hmm. because she vacillates between the sweet Stephanie kind of, I'm just content with my plants and making food and having a family, mm -hmm. to this really broken woman who's being freaking abused. Yeah, absolutely. To someone who's gone over the edge, yeah. who's pushed too far and is now psychotic. Yeah. And... She does it in a way that's not, um, this is another thing that's difficult. Like if you've seen an old, an old film called Sybil where Sally Field started mm -hmm. in her early life, she plays yeah. a woman, it's a true story about a woman with 17 personalities. And she, this woman, like a lot of people with multiple personality disorder, will just switch from personality to personality. This isn't like that. This is a, uh, it's kind of a flow from mm -hmm. place to place yeah. without ever, it's not a surprise because we saw this quality in her in Patalok. She has the quality of an actress who never indicates, mm -hmm. never tries. She just does her best to embody and be. Yeah. And uh, I'd love to see behind the scenes. I'd love to talk with her about what the process was like and what the relationship was with the director. Yeah. Uh, it could absolutely have been a play. 100%. Oh, it would make, this would make a fantastic play. Yeah. Although, um, what would you do? Because one of the elements of this that I thought was great was that he became the everyman by us never seeing yeah, his face. Yeah, which is what, uh, one of the things I want to talk about. With the filmmaking, uh, I, I love that. Because it makes mm -hmm. it, you're not just looking at this guy. This is, 
It could be anybody. Any man. Any man you see on the street yep. could be this guy. Yep. And they were probably saying it's probably a lot of people, especially in older Indian culture, of, you know, with maybe arranged marriage or just that's, they fell into an abusive relationship and he's, you know, cheating on her. She, he can stay out all day, go to work, go sleep with his girlfriend, come right. home, demand her to make him breakfast and dinner and then rape her later yeah. in the yeah. day. And it's just fine, but they don't show his face, which I thought was really, really uh, well done Agreed. and a good decision by the filmmaker. Agreed. And I also think it touches on a subject that I don't know how much it's talked about uh, in India because I know personal things are not often shared. Going to counseling is often considered uh, anathema or like just family. Man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But. There have been globally situations where the lockdowns have put strains on families. So mm -hmm. for example, interestingly, here in the United States, birth rates dropped and you would think it was the opposite. Mm -hmm. Everybody's at home with nothing to do. Everybody gets tired of each other. Right, but <laughs> what it does is it has forced people to address things that they might not have addressed before where there were problems. Mm -hmm. For example, he's exhibiting strain and tension. She says at one point, such a sad line when she says he's probably stressed out because he's not able to see her like he was because of lockdown. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't surprise me. And I'm, I'm knowing Swastika and the things that she posts, which right now is nothing but COVID support. Mm -hmm. But prior to that, she's really big on mental health, mm -hmm. empowering women, eliminating stereotypes, not body shaming. And it wouldn't surprise me if one of the goals of the film is to get women in particular to see this and not feel alone and reach out for help. Whether it's abuse that's just standard or if stuff has come up because of COVID, that, um, but it's done in a really highbrow, intelligent way. I love the filmmaking. I thought the filmmaking was absolutely very well done and brilliant in terms of the cinematography. Score, Score. was wonderful. Yep. It added that since it was just her carrying the film and it seemed, I know it's 47 minutes, already short, felt like 25. Yeah, really, it, it really it did. Really, I didn't want it to end. It really goes by. I felt like we've had one or two short films that felt longer than this. Uh, like an 18 minute one? Yeah, absolutely. I've had some that felt longer than that this. That felt longer than this yeah. film. And it's a testament because, you know, it's just one person, really. I mean, there's one other person. You can hear his voice and he's technically in there, but it's not. I love, I love fourth wall breaks. I love fourth wall breaks. I, <laughs> I don't know why. It was even before Deadpool. I know, I know it's it was. It's because, like, I, I like that. Because to me, fourth wall breaks symbolize that directors know that you're not nitty. You know this is a film. Mm -hmm. You know that. <laughs> and I, I like that directors like just take that away and be like, this is a film, but you know we're just going to talk right now. Right. It's okay. It's fine. Right. I really enjoy that. But obviously, it can go bad if, 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 if it's not, not done, done right. Well. Yeah. It can go bad. Uh, but I thought it was done very, very, very well. Yeah. It, it often can be an excuse for bad writing because mm -hmm. you can get exposition in just, okay, I'm going to tell you now rather than show you. Yeah. And if I was afraid it was going to do that. That's what I was meant by it, my it, uncomfortableness at the beginning. It didn't. I would say the only gripe I really have is that it was a little predictable as opposed to where it went. Uh, I, I kind of, I knew that was going to happen. It was at least something I thought was a real plausible idea. Yeah. There wasn't... It wasn't predictable in how it got there in like right. the store, like in terms of right. how it was filmed. Right. But I was like, I almost knew like from basically when, especially when she was talking about her, her, her mother-in-law uh, and what, what she let happen to her and what she did to her. Yes. Uh, I was like, okay, uh, she's probably going to poison the husband. Yeah. That's probably exactly. going to happen. And in fact, I had five or six scenarios, uh -huh. which... In a movie that is extraordinarily good, uh, like a Christopher no like Inception, yeah, your guessing ends, and then the ending is way beyond anything you guessed. Yeah, this had an ending that was one of my possibilities, yeah. and I agree with you. If that's a gripe, and this is a yeah. small gripe, it would just be it would have been that much more phenomenal if we had something happened in the end where we went, what? Yeah. Yeah. I was waiting for one of those little things at the end, yeah. and I would have really been like, oh, this is great. Like, it was all in her head. Yeah, something like that. But uh, even that, I would have yeah, guessed that. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a couple of scenarios that you probably could have guessed, and it's, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm being nitpicky here. I, I really sure enjoyed nitpick. this film in terms of all the acting, the score, I thought the cinematography, the way they shot, a lot of close-ups on her face, uh, and then 
It's just her talking to herself the entire time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's not easy to do. No. That's very few films pull that off. I mean, I can think of one other that was uh, Locke. But that was just Tom Hardy in a car, and that was an hour and a half. Watch that movie. That was a phenomenal. Great movie. Phenomenal. But movie. And even I thought it was really well done. I think they found a really good balance, for example, in that moment when they're showing us her laying in the fetal position and the blood trickling down her legs and she's crying. There was That was pretty much perfectly done. Because mm -hmm. you could have gone not enough or you could have gone over the top, mm -hmm. uh, especially for any woman that's experienced something like that. I yeah. think this was just enough to stir without triggering somebody. So all in all, yeah, it's hopefully you're watching this because you've seen it at this point. Yeah. If you haven't and you were naughty and you got <laughs> spoiled the way you shouldn't be, I would still go watch it. But go I, watch it. It's unfortunate that you you, you stay here for yeah, it really to be spoiled. Yeah, because uh, I think you should go support this film. Yes, uh, because I I think especially towards the end she she could easily contend for for lead actress in, in our stupid awards. That mean absolutely no, that mean absolutely nothing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's why we call them dummies. Yeah, but uh, I thought she did that well. Uh, and as well as the, yeah. uh, the the cinematography, I thought was was really really well done. So overall, uh, I really enjoyed it, and it was also our first uh, supposed to go Bengali film. Yeah, it was. I've seen her in a couple of things on Hoi Choi that were okay. TV series okay, stuff, gotcha. and it really does show the difference because <clears throat> we, we've seen her in Hindi in the yes the, the in, shot thing. And obviously, put our lock right, uh, and I don't know if there's something else, but there was one other thing I think that we saw her in. Was it okay? I don't remember it. I don't either. But anyway, the um, in, in a couple of the other TV shows that she's done, the writing isn't as good as this or Pata Lok. Mm -hmm. And there's only so much an actor can do when the writing isn't giving them what they need. It just shows, and you'll you'll hear this all the time, with actors win Emmys or, or Tony Awards or Oscars, whatever it might be, and I'm sure it's this way as well, I hope it's this way, in any of the awards in India, the first words out of most of their lips is going to be thank you to the writers uh -huh. <laughs> because actors don't have anything without the writers. Mm -hmm. And the difference between good writing and bad writing is astronomical when yeah. you watch. It's a great example. If you watch some of the TV shows she's in, I would say in some of the TV shows I've seen her in, she's, she was fine on Hoi Choi, but she's magnificent in Pata Lok and she is extremely good in this. Yeah. Uh, it's a testament to the writing too. An actor can save some bad writing not all though um uh, um hardy yeah uh, venom venom yeah uh, he saved the writing fun film but it's only because hardy did so well he saved it uh there was a lot of bad writing in venom uh if you haven't seen that film uh hopefully the second one painful is. yeah sometimes yeah uh, and they had a bunch of good actresses in uh the one that yeah. uh, murdered heath ledger uh, what's her name um oh oh wait sorry yeah he said that uh <laughs> I have feelings. Uh, let us know what you thought about this film. What should be the next Bengali and the next Swastika film uh, that we should watch? Let us know down below. Mm -hmm.